To write the name for CrNO33, we first need to recognize this NO3 here. It's the nitrate ion. It's a polyatomic ion. In fact, we have three nitrate ions here. So we have our nitrate ion, and it's bonded to chromium, which is a transition metal. So what we'll do first is write the name of the metal, chromium, and then we'll write the name of the polyatomic ion, this nitrate here. So we just write nitrate, lowercase n, and so far, the name we have is chromium nitrate. But we said chromium's a transition metal. That means it can have different ionic charges depending what it's bonded to. So here it's bonded to the nitrate ion, and the whole nitrate ion has a charge of 1 minus. So since we have three of these, 3 times 1 minus, that's 3 minus. The chromium has to be 3 plus for all the charges to add up to 0, a net charge of 0. So that 3 plus for the chromium, we then need to write Roman numeral 3 in parentheses between the chromium and the nitrate. So the name for CrNO33 is chromium 3 nitrate. And the 3 is a result of the chromium here having this 3 plus ionic charge. This is Dr. B with the name for CrNO33, chromium 3 nitrate. Thanks for watching.